Hello. In this video, I want to explain how machine learning uses the scientific method as its main operational principle. This principle is underlying every machine learning method. I will illustrate this principle using the task of predicting the maximum daytime temperature. Consider waking up some morning during winter in Finland and taking a look outside the window. It seems to become a nice sunny day, which is ideal for a ski trip. To choose the right gear, the right clothing and waxing for the skis, it is important to have some idea for the maximum daytime temperature. The maximum daytime temperature is typically reached in early afternoon. If we expect the maximum daytime temperature of around plus 10 degrees, we might not put on the extra warm jacket, but rather take only some extra shirt for change. Let us try to develop a method for obtaining high precision forecasts for the maximum daytime temperature using machine learning. To apply machine learning, we need data. To predict the maximum daytime temperature, it seems a good idea to use data points that represent winter days in Finland. However, we typically cannot fully characterize such data point as this would amount to collect all data, all information about one particular day. Instead, we use only two properties to characterize such data points. One property is the minimum daytime temperature. The minimum daytime temperature occurs typically in the morning. So this property of a data point can be determined easily at the morning of a day. The second property of a data point is the maximum daytime temperature. This property is what we are interested in. We refer to such a quantity of interest as the label of a data point. The machine learning problem here is to predict the maximum daytime temperature, Y, based on the minimum daytime temperature that we denote by X. And this minimum daytime temperature is what we can observe in the morning of a new ski day. Machine learning methods must use some hypothesis for how the minimum daytime temperature X is related to the maximum daytime temperature Y. There must be some relation since otherwise we would have no chance to predict the maximum daytime temperature based on knowing the minimum daytime temperature X. Let's say we have the hypothesis that the maximum daytime temperature is typically five degrees higher than the minimum daytime temperature. Given this hypothesis, we predict the maximum daytime temperatures for previous days. Since we compute the predictions for previous days, we can compare those predictions with the actual maximum daytime temperatures, which are in some sense the true labels of the data points. We can then use the discrepancy between the predictions and the actual maximum daytime temperatures to improve our hypothesis. It will be useful to represent the hypothesis using a function or a map. This map H takes the feature value X as the argument or input and delivers or outputs or guess or prediction for the label value, which is the maximum daytime temperature here. Machine learning methods use always more than one hypothesis. In fact, most machine learning methods use hypotheses which contain infinitely many different hypotheses. In our temperature prediction task, we have used the hypothesis space constituted by all hypothesis maps of the form X, which is the feature, plus some number B. And this number B 
can be varied by the learning method. So here we depict three particular hypothesis maps that are obtained for B equal to zero, B equal to one, or B equal to two. The temperature prediction problem then amounts to fitting one of these straight lines to given data points that represent historic temperature recordings. So each data point here corresponds to one previous day, which is characterized by the minimum daytime temperature X and the maximum daytime temperature Y. Such weather recordings can be obtained, for example, from the Finnish Meteorological Institute. Let me wrap up this video by summarizing how machine learning uses the scientific method to make predictions. The scientific method revolves around the continuous adaptation and improvement of a hypothesis for a phenomenon such as the weather. Machine learning methods use this hypothesis to make predictions. These predictions are compared against observed data, which are the maximum daytime temperatures in our case. The discrepancy between the predictions and the observed data is then used to improve the hypothesis. This improved hypothesis is then the starting point for a new iteration of the scientific method. If you want to learn more about machine learning and how it uses hypotheses to generalize from observed data, I highly recommend our upcoming bachelor level course, Machine Learning, which is offered at Auto University and via the Finnish university network, phytech.io. You can also read about the basic principles of machine learning in my textbook, which is available on my GitHub repository. Thanks a lot.